Sally Ride. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be an astronaut? A woman named Sally Ride wondered just that, back during a time when there were no female astronauts in the United States. Today, we are going to learn more about this amazing trailblazer who was the first American female to travel to space. Sally Kristen Ride was born on May 26, 1951, in Encino, California. Growing up, Sally was super smart and also a gifted tennis player. She even thought about playing tennis professionally. Instead, Sally decided to attend Stanford University, where she earned bachelor's degrees in physics and English, followed by a master's degree in physics in 1975. In 1977, while working on her doctorate degree, Sally was chosen by NASA to be one of six women astronaut candidates. Back then, NASA had no female astronauts, at one time claiming that women could not stand the rigors of spaceflight. Not cool, NASA. So, this opportunity and change was a big deal, not just for Sally, but for women everywhere who had been pushing for equality. Training was hard work, especially because Sally was still working on her doctorate degree. She completed her doctorate in physics in 1978 and then finished the astronaut training program in 1979. Even though she successfully completed the training, it would be a few years before she would actually journey to space. History was made on June 18, 1983, when Dr. Sally Ride rode in the space shuttle Challenger, serving as the flight engineer. That day, she became the first woman from the United States to ever fly in space. Dr. Ride took another flight on Challenger in 1984. She spent eight days in space conducting experiments. On this same mission, Sally's friend, Catherine Sullivan, became the first U.S. female to walk in space. Tragically, Challenger later exploded in 1986 as it was taking off for another mission. Dr. Ride was not on the flight, but was one of the astronauts who helped investigate the cause of the explosion. She left NASA a year later, in 1987. After her time at NASA, Dr. Ride worked as a professor of physics at the University of California, San Diego, and also as director of the California Space Institute. She was especially interested in promoting programs and organizations that helped young women who were interested in STEM, which stands for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Here's an interesting fact. Dr. Ride wrote many children's books about outer space. Dr. Sally Ride died on July 23, 2012, after battling pancreatic cancer. In 2013, then, President Barack Obama posthumously awarded her the Presidential Medal of Freedom, which is the highest civilian award in the United States. We have learned a lot of interesting facts about Dr. Sally Ride. Let's review to see what you remember. True or false? Sally Ride was the first American woman to travel to space. True. What was the name of the shuttle that took Dr. Ride to space? Challenger. Fill in the blank. Dr. Ride earned bachelor's, master's, and doctorate degrees in blank. Physics. Nice job, everyone. Dr. Ride will be forever remembered for her commitment to education, equality, and encouraging all Americans, regardless of gender, to reach for the stars. How can you be a trailblazer like Sally Ride? Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers. Thank you.